Hey everybody, today I'm sharing a tutorial for playing claw hammer style on your ukulele or if you have one, your banjo ukulele. Claw hammer strumming is usually done on banjos, but it's a really nice option for ukuleles too, and that's because ukuleles and banjos have an important thing in common, and that is the fact that they're usually in what's called re-entrant tuning. When an instrument is in what's called linear tuning, that means the notes of the strings go from lowest note to highest note. And if your ukulele has what's called a low G string, then it's in linear tuning. But if you have what's called a standard ukulele, it's in what's called re-entrant tuning, and you have a high G string along with the other strings, C, E, and A. And it's that high G string that's really crucial to giving us that classic claw hammer sound. So if you have an instrument with low G tuning, you're not going to want to use it for this tutorial. It's called a claw hammer because we put our hands into somewhat of a claw shape to play it, and we are hammering down on those strings. If you're playing on a normal ukulele, then you want to play in the usual spot, which is generally right above the sound hole. And if you're playing on a banjo ukulele like me, you want to make sure that you're playing more down here on top of the drum so that you get the best sound from your instrument. Now for the claw hammer strum, we're going to divide things up into three parts. There's going to be the first part, which I'll call the pluck, the second part, which I'll call the strum, and then the third part, which I'll refer to as the thumb. Let me play it a little bit for you so you can get a sense of what it's going to sound like. I'm going to play it with the F chord shape. So I'm only going to play the F chord with my fretting hand, just going to hold that chord position while I do some claw hammer strumming. Let me slow that down a little bit. Now I'm going to hold the F chord shape with my fretting hand, and then most importantly, I'm going to anchor. Uh, the thumb of my strumming hand on that G string. And that's going to be the home base for my thumb for the claw hammer strum. And then you can either plan to strum the other strings with all of your fingers or a combination of your fingers or just your index finger. And then just practice having your hand in this shape with your thumb on that G string and your index finger or multiple fingers brushing across the rest. That strum is going to be the middle part of the claw hammer. But let's start at the beginning of the strum, what I call the pluck. Keep that thumb on your G string, curve those fingers around, and then your goal here is to strike one string if possible. Okay, so in this case I'm playing the C string only. And I'm letting my index fingernail come, come kind of down on that C string and it's stopping when it hits the E string. That is the pluck. Once you feel like you have a good sense of how that pluck is supposed to feel, try combining the strum. So we go pluck, strum, pluck, strum. And when I'm strumming, I am strumming the C, E, and A string. So I'm plucking C, and then I'm strumming C, E, A. Pluck C, strum C, E, A. Now let me do that a few times. Pause this video whenever you need to, to practice these individual steps. But then once you have the pluck and the strum, try adding in the thumb. Pluck, strum, thumb. And with my thumb, I'm only playing the G string. So I'm plucking the C string, I'm strumming C, E, and A, and I'm playing the G string with my thumb. And as soon as I'm done playing that G string, my thumb goes back to resting on the G string. So pluck, strum, thumb. Pluck, strum, thumb. Pluck, strum, thumb. Pluck, strum, thumb. Now let's talk about the timing at which we play those things. So we're going to go pluck, rest, strum, thumb. 
pluck, rest, strum, thumb, pluck, rest, strum, thumb, pluck, rest, strum, thumb. And when you speed it up, it'll sound like this. Pluck, rest, strum, thumb, pluck, rest, strum, thumb. Now practicing a strum all by itself is fine, but sometimes it's fun to sing while we practice a new technique. So let's pair this claw hammer strum with my favorite one chord song, Lil' Liza Jane. You may have seen me use this song in a previous video because it's a great practice song when we're working on a new technique, like a new style of strumming. And it's a really great American folk song that pairs really nicely with this style anyway. Today I'm going to play it in the key of F because that tends to be a comfortable fit for my vocal range for this song. You can experiment playing this song in other keys. Um, if you want to play it in the key of C, for instance, just hold that C chord shape for the entire song. <laughs> but today, if you want to play along with me, make that F chord shape. We're going to start with that chorus, which is short and very easy to memorize. Now, if singing that chorus at that tempo already felt tricky, then pause the video again and just work on adding in the lyrics while you try to maintain a really steady beat with your claw hammer strum. And then, once you feel ready, come back and join me, and we're going to sing through a few verses. I think one of them was used in my last video with Lil' Liza Jane, but then I have added a few new ones just to keep things a little fresh for you. Now, I'm going to try to play at approximately this tempo here. I do have a habit of speeding up when I record these videos, so I'm going to do my best to maintain that tempo, but just a little warning, I might speed up accidentally. Now let's start out by singing that chorus again, and then we'll add in four verses for Lil' Liza Jane. Every time we sing through a verse, we're going to go back to that chorus, and we will end with the chorus as well. Okay. And that 
that's it. You've made it through the entire song. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please share it with a friend that you like to make music with. And make sure you head over to musicalmama.com where you can find all kinds of free resources for ukulele players. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy strumming!